What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and InScape tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna continue our series on creating an interior render of an office building um, using SketchUp and InScape. I will link to the entire playlist for this uh, series in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you remember in the first series, we went through and we swapped out a bunch of materials and things like that to make this look a little bit more realistic. I'm thinking in this um, particular video, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to swap out some of these uh, some of these models that are in here with uh, InScape assets. So we're going to go ahead and do that in order to kind of increase the realism of where we're at. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I didn't do this in the first video, is I'm going to save a camera on the interior of this building um, so that I have kind of a view of this that I can work from. So I'm just going to go up to View, Animation, add scene and in this case I'm just gonna click uh, save as a new style so just so that I have that that way now if I get out of my building I can just click on this scene view and it'll fly me right back into it so the other thing I'm gonna do because I don't think I'm gonna touch anything up above is I'm probably gonna go ahead and add a section cut in here so just a section plane that we can use in here and this one's facing the wrong direction, so I'm just gonna right click on it and I'm gonna reverse it. But this is basically gonna give us a section cut view so that I can actually see inside of this building. And I'm gonna take it down to where I can't see the lights anymore. And then I'm just gonna go to my view and I'm gonna turn section, whoops, section planes off. Cause I don't wanna accidentally select that every time I'm inside my model. And so once we do that, what we can do is we can start swapping out this furniture. There's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, the nice thing about this is all of this furniture right now, um, I don't like that the desk is in this group, but the rest of the furniture inside this model is already in its own group. So what we can do is we can keep that SketchUp stuff and put it on its own layer. So I'm just gonna put this on a layer and I'm gonna label it, um, I'm gonna label it A underscore furniture. Let's see if that brings it to the top of my list. Eh, close enough. Um, I, I just did that so that it wasn't further down in the list when I sorted alphabetically, but I'm gonna take this furniture group and I'm gonna drop all of it on its own layer so that I can turn that off. So now if I go into the layer manager inside of SketchUp, I can turn all of that furniture off and I can start bringing InScape furniture in. So if you remember, InScape rolled out a library of different things um, inside of their SketchUp extension that you can bring in and use to populate your model. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the InScape toolbar and I'm gonna go to the asset library. And inside of the asset library, there's gonna be a bunch of different options of things that we can choose from in order to bring into our model. And these are things that kind of get brought in as InScape proxy meaning they look a lot better when they're actually rendered, but they don't slow down your SketchUp model. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by coming up here and I'm gonna click on this furniture button because all I wanna see in this list is I wanna see furniture, right? I don't wanna see anything else. And at the moment, this is a newer feature, so it's a little bit limited in uh, what it has right now. I wish it had a little bit more um, like office type furniture, but they're still working on developing this. But what we can do is we can start bringing these proxies in. Maybe we'll try this. Uh, we could try this high table, or I don't necessarily like the high table, so probably what we're going to do instead is maybe try this brunch table and use that as my office furniture inside of SketchUp. So I'm just going to bring this in. I'm going to rotate it around by 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna create another version of it over here. And then we're also going to bring in, we'll go ahead and bring in an office chair from the library as well. And so you can see how I can bring these in and populate my model really quickly. And I'm and gonna so do I'm this kind of fast, fast when I'm so if you don't know how to, and stuff like that. If, if you don't know how to move things that, around in you can SketchUp, check out my SketchUp you can check channel, channel, out the SketchUp um, I've got tutorials on but that kind of But for the rendering channel, my, I'm gonna move things quickly and kind of assume that you know the basics Over on my of, uh, SketchUp site, the SketchUp essentials, and organizing but, um, things for, for the case of this, I don't think you need Thank you. 
And one thing that's nice about a program like Enscape is we can actually come in here and I'm going to turn this furniture off that was in here before. It's really easy to run a test render like this. So I can just pop up a render really fast and look at the way that these items are going to look just to get an idea and know what things are going to look like um, so that I can adjust things on the fly. All right, so if we take a look at this, you can see how this Enscape uh, this Enscape office stuff is coming in. It looks a lot more realistic than the stuff that we had in here before. So you can see how it it loads things like the screens really nicely and the materials on the different furniture and stuff just looks a lot better. Um, so you can see how like the wood grain on this looks really nice and things like that. So that's why we're replacing all of this stuff with this Enscape geometry is just because it's uh, just more realistic and it looks better in our model. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to add a few more things and then uh, we can kind of take a look at this and uh, see where we need to go next. Alright, so now we've got all this kind of furnished out, we're going to go in and we're going to run one more render in Enscape. Just kind of see how these models look, make any last minute fixes that we need to make, and kind of go from there. So I'm just going to run the uh, export process real quick and I'm just going to let this load. Then we'll take a look at our result and talk a little bit about what the next steps are going to look like. Alright, so if we take a look at this image and we kind of fly around a little bit, you can see how just uh, by adding this furniture in here, we've got a much better result than we had before. So this looks fairly realistic. Um, so probably there's some stuff I need to do with this picture frame right here because it looks like it's in the wall. So probably what we would do is just come in here and I'll just go into SketchUp real quick and I'll just move this off the wall like this. And then if we go back into Enscape, that shows up okay as well. And you can see how that gets reflections off of it and everything else. This desk um, back here looks good. So overall, I think this is a great result. Probably um, you can get a little bit better view if you come into Enscape and you probably need to adjust your field of view a little bit um, just so we can get a little more you can see how as you adjust that field of view, you can get a little more of this space in here. So maybe I'll turn the field of view up to like 90 or something like that and get kind of a view where I'm looking down like this. But you can see how now we have a pretty decent result um, with our office furniture and everything else. So probably the next thing we're going to do, the thing that's really killing our realism right now, and uh, we're going to handle this in the next video, is we're going to start adding a background out here to make this look more realistic. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Do you like this format? Are you finding it helpful? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.